Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see uh, some of the built-in services related to search document, sort documents in web methods. In order to start with, I'll open web method designer and I'll start with new flow service. So mainly I'm going to search some books based on by author I'll search it. I'll just click next and I'll give empty flow and I'll just click finish. So we are going to search some books which is a list and uh, from there uh, we are going to identify some specific book. So how do we do it? So we are going to use something called search documents. So how do we do it? So if I, in order to do that, I'll need some sample XML. So I'll just go and see sample XML online. And I'll just take this link, uh, which is from docs.microsoft.com sample XML file books.xml. I'll just go and see here, see here, there's a XML, which is having a catalog and you have a books. So this book uh, segment is getting repeated. See here, there are a lot of books like book 101, 102 and how many books are there? There are 12 books are there, okay? So in this, uh, we are going to uh, search specific book based on some author name. So see here, this XML developer guide is from Matthew, right? And similarly, we have Midnight Rain from Kim and there are a lot of books are there, around uh, 12 books are there. So in this, uh, we are going to find us some specific book details by based on author. So how do we do it? I'll just copy this XML and I'll just put it into notepad and I'll save it in a, my system. I'll name this as a books.xml and I'll just make this search as type as all file and save it. So now we have books XML, which I'm going to create some equivalent structure in our IS, in our document folder. So any XML which you need to parse and understand, we need that equivalent structure to be created as a document type. So I'll just go here and I'll just name this as a books, uh, X, books, I'll just name it or I'll just say it's a books document. Okay. And then I'll just give a next and uh, we are going to use XML to create a document type because I have a sample XML, which I'm going to browse it, which is books.xml. I'll just click finish. So now what will happen is the equivalent is document for your books structure got created under catalog you have a list of books where we have author title of the book and price and publish date and description and other information so there are few informations are there so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to search uh, books using built-in service so whatever the service i have created right which is a empty service now search books by author here i'm just going to hard code that xml because I don't want to take it from any FTP location or uh, some file system for now. So I'll just hard code it here. I'll say this is a books XML sample. Okay. And I'll just copy that XML. Control A, Control C. I just copied it and I'll just paste it here. You just click this three dot and then you paste it because it is having many lines. I'll just give okay. So now we copied the XML. So now I wanted to sort it right and uh, for that insert go to invoke and under the WM public pub and then you have a document folder you have something called search documents. If you look at this search document needs is a document list but what we have right now it's a string so which we need to convert it as a convert as a document. So I'll just convert that as it is a string I need to convert first to string to node and then node to document insert note to document because it's a two step process because the search documents needs that information in a document format. So XML string, I'll map it book XML, XML data and it's XML file. So I'll say this is XML equal to true. I'll give okay. And whatever it's not required, I'll just uh, drop it and I'll come to note to document. So I'll go to the previous step and whatever it's earlier we mapped is XML, XML data also not required. As part of this service, I need only node as a output. So I'm converting node to document and this document, right? Uh, it's nothing but this structure, whatever we created book docs, right? So I'll just drag and drop book docs here and I'll call this as a books doc only and I'll just expand it and I'll map this document to book document. Whatever it's not required, I'll just drop it. 
so that we'll have only book document which we converted from the XML sample data which will have a list called books book here under the catalog which I'm going to map it for search so I'll go to search next line this book document catalog I'm going to map this book to our document so this service search document needs a input as a list which we are mapping it so document list we mapped it search criteria I wanted to search based on the author so the key you have to give it like author so that's a field name you don't need to give an entire path so only the field you can give under the list any field you can give so for this example I wanted to search based on author so if you wanted to search based on price or published date anything you can give the key and value appropriately so here the value what value I wanted to give so I wanted to give some specific data right I'll just go to the sample mm, anything I'll just take it for example I'll just take um, yeah so if you see this author right has two books Tim right so if you see I'll just control C and control V so this author has two books so I'll just uh, use that value I'll give OK and compare string as string because that's a string field I'll just save it I'll try to run it now run as flow service I'll give OK see here this particular document which is our input right which will have all the 12 information so that's why you see here blog, book 101 to 112 is there because that is order like that only so there are uh, currently 12 books are there and uh, this particular author name alone it's two times appearing because this particular author has a uh, two books one is microsoft.net and another one is this comprehensive guide so now we ran this one this is our input document and search criteria which I didn't drop it and if you look at the final document right this is a result document see here this is a result document it's only having two records which is belongs to author Tim right so if you see here two records are appearing with all the values which are relevant to uh, author Tim whatever title or price and other information everything is coming and also there's one more thing is coming document list indices what is this one is we had 12 books right and uh, this Tim is appearing in the ninth record and 10th record so if you look at the overall document right you'll be able to see so we have total 12 books which is starting from 0 to 11 okay so in that 9 and 10 are related to Tim see here 9 is related to Tim and 10 also related to Tim so if you want to take anything specifically you wanted to know which record is having that one then we can have it we can find it from this document list indices which will have the how many records are there the first record zeroth record is from the ninth index and other record from tenth index so this way you can uh, pass the input list of document where you can find specific document from that particular list so now in this example we search by author so the same way you can search by price and publish date anything based because that is the value we will give it in a key so now we search the document similarly if you wanted to sort some document right by author or anything so then what you can do is I'll just do similar thing I'll just uh, name this service sort documents I'll do this time by price okay so this is sorting so we can sort it by ascending or descending I'll just create a empty flow and I'll just click finish so the same code I'll copy the first three line I'll just try to copy because we are going to use the same XML and same XML you wanted to convert to document and uh, finally I wanted to use a instead of search document I wanted to use a sort document because we are going to sort the documents so I'll go to invoke I'll go to WM public package pub folder and you have something called document under that you have something called do sort documents go to pipeline I'll map this list which is our book and then there's a sort criteria here also there will be a key where I'll say I wanted to sort by price okay price I gave and order I'll just say ascending and compare us I'll just give string and this is giving the list as documents okay or you wanted to map map it to the some other structure right the same structure you wanted to map then what you can do you just uh, I'll just rename this one I'll say this is a sorted books document okay so this document I'll map it here and whatever it's not required 
I'll just drop it and then I'll save everything. And whatever the sort criteria or original document, I don't want it, I'll drop it. So this particular sample, right, whatever we have, it's having 12 record, which I wanted to sort it based on the price. So we'll see the original XML from here. If you look at this one, this is the original XML, which is having a price $44, $5, $5.95, right? So, and then you have another one with $5.95, $5.95, uh, $4.95, and which is not in order see here 3695 so there are different um, books are there with a different price so now we are going to sort it based on the price information because when you wanted to show it in a response right i wanted to sort it based on something i wanted to sort based on the author or price or published date anything else right but this example we are sorting based on the price so i'm just going to see the result because our original data it's not having a any order okay so now i'll try to run it and i'll show uh, it is getting sorted okay see here author and price okay so something wrong here because uh, we are expecting more document right i'm just going to check what is the error because it's not sorted because uh, it's giving only one information as a output i'll just go and see document how we mapped it node node we mapped to this book which will have a list of book and then I'm going to sort it and here I'm just trying to see I'm mapping all the document key I'm giving price right P R I C E. so I'm just double checking the value is correct or not yeah it's correct and order ascending correct and then I'll just try to change this to number numeric and then I'll try to see what we are getting it right because it's related to price and I'm just changing it run as run flow service and I'm just giving OK. Again, it's giving an error. Price 4.95. Sorted book ID. I'll not drop this information for now. Document sort criteria. Sorted book. Just uh, I'll just undrop and see what is going in. I'll just try to run it again. I'll just give OK and still sorted book is coming wrong only and I'm just going to remove that mapping and I'm just going to remap it again. Okay, I'll just leave this one and uh, whatever it is coming right, I'll just try to maybe the structure got changed. Uh, so I'll just try to map what we are getting itself. I'll save this one. I'll try to run it again just to see the results are coming as expected. See here, this value, now if you look at this one, right, you have all the documents, okay, so, and you see this value for the price column, it's order now with $4.95, $5.95, $6.95, $36.95, $44.49. So earlier, right, in the original example, we have the data in a different order, 44, 5, and 5.95 and so on, right, so now it's ordered. So how do we do it? We use a sort document in order to map the structure. See here, earlier it was not coming properly because if you see under the document, there's a document and the structure is different. But I was trying to map this structure at the this level. So this level, if you look at this one, right, the structure is not same as what it, we are getting it here, right? So that is why uh, earlier, you know, I just mapped directly. So that's why there's a issue. So now I'll try to map this documents, right? I'll try to map this as to books list, okay? And I'll just try to, I'll drop this one and sort criteria also, I'll drop it. Maybe this book document, I'll just try to change it to sorted, sorted book document, okay? So I'll try to save it now. Earlier, when we run it, it's not coming properly because I mapped it wrongly. So now if you look at this one, right? Books document and catalog under that books, everything is coming properly because it's a new structure. I'm just checking. This is the document name we gave, right? Yeah, books document. That's the name we gave and uh, that is getting mapped and uh, you are getting a result in a sorted manner as well. See here, catalog and book value $4.95, $4.95. If I see the this view right and you'll be able to see that is getting arranged properly with the 
order of the price so this is ascending order right so still if you wanted to change it to descending order you can go here on in the order you can change it to descending so that you will be able to see the results the price the upper price right the higher price will come first and then uh, the lower price will come at the last see here catalog books and you have the price starting from the descending order it's starting with the higher price and the last one will be the the least price so this way you can sort any kind of document list here we have a list of books which we want to sort it based on specific field here we used a uh, price as a field to sort the information but you can sort with any information so you can even sort based on the author and title or any other information as well thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye